So hi there guys, um, so I'm sure the question you're all asking is how do I become a doctor and how do I get into the medical profession? So what I want to talk to you about today is a bit about Bromley itself in terms of my experiences of Bromley. I want to talk to you a bit about my process of getting into medical school, my medical school itself and lastly some top tips about what you should be doing now to gain the best chances of getting into medical school. Bromley is a fantastic area. It's a place where I've had many childhood memories having gone to school in the local area too. And actually it is one of the areas that has really enabled me to get prepared for a career in medicine. It was actually during my schooling years that I decided that I want to be a doctor. And that is something which is a very difficult challenge at times um, to think about going into a profession and thinking about what you want to do. But actually, medicine is a wonderful profession that provides you with fantastic opportunities to be scientifically motivated and interested, but also um, having a community uh, sense and, and helping and supporting your local community. So, I mean, in terms of my own experiences of what I did to try to get into medical school, I was firstly very much involved in doing lots of extracurricular activities, and that's something which I would very much recommend. In particular, I was very interested in art, and I did art for A-level, but also was involved in my local art department in terms of community projects, setting up a um, gallery, and also being of, involved in local schools. Um, another aspect of what I did to try to get into medical school was doing community work, so helping out an old age home, helping out in a school, and supporting and mentoring younger students within um, the junior school itself. I think what's very important when applying to medical school is doing good work experience. And this is both in a hospital setting and a community setting, both in the hospital, but also in general practice. And what you really need to be doing in a work experience setting is to understand and identify the role of a doctor, appreciate what the doctor does and their responsibilities, and appreciate those challenges, expectations, but also the the incredible work that a doctor does and how you can achieve this. I in fact went to one of the medical schools in London, Barts and London Medical School, which is the oldest medical school in the UK. And it was an incredible place to, to both study and start off my career in becoming a doctor. Um, but what I want to talk to you about is top tips about what you can do at this stage to get into medicine. I think my first top tip is make sure you're all around a candidate. As I discussed before, Bromley has a vast variety of different things you can do in extracurricular activities, whether it's sport or music, or whether it's something in drama or art, it's something you need to get involved in. And the reason why it's so important to do this is the transferable skills, the skills that you can demonstrate in terms of teamwork, leadership, communication skills, that you can identify that you play a part in. The second important point, which I would definitely recommend, is be part of the community. Be involved in the community. Do community work. It demonstrates that you're someone who is community-minded and wants to support the local community around you. The third point I would say is work experience is extremely important to organise well. And this will encourage you and enable you to see what it is to be a doctor and what you can do to try to get to that position too. Lastly, when it comes to interviews, I strongly recommend um, sort of practicing a lot, making sure that you get in front of the mirror, get in front of your friends and family and practice and talk about why you want to be a doctor, how you demonstrate the skills to be a doctor and why you're an asset to any medical school. And lastly, when it comes to personal experience, bring that all back together, bring in your, um, your experience in um, the hospital, in community work, also bring your experience as an all-rounded candidate and demonstrate to people why you want to be a doctor. So now what I wanted to do was give you an idea as to what I do during a week as being a GP trainee. Um, I'm currently in the community doing a general practice job as a first year general practice trainee. My week starts off with an exciting um, opportunity to be involved in leadership and management in the Bromley GP Alliance. They're an organisation that helps support all 40 of the different general practices in Bromley itself and support them by providing specific clinical opportunities such as specialised clinics 
opportunities to support them with pharmacists and nurses. And it's an incredible opportunity to see how the other side of general practice is um, learning about management and learning about leading um, a team. I then follow up on Tuesday with a fantastically interesting uh, clinic in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, these can tend to be quite challenging because on Tuesdays I can see some unwell patients, some patients that are booked in quite quickly and actually have to deal with patients that might need to go into hospital. On Wednesday I have another clinic in the morning but following on from that I have the opportunity to be involved in something called vocational training for general practitioners. So this involves us trainees having an opportunity to discuss about our week, discuss about what we've learned, but also have really interesting doctors and professionals coming from different specialties to tell us all about what they do and how we can improve as GPs. My Thursday is so interesting. I have another opportunity to be involved in the Bromley GP Alliance, being again involved in auditing, uh, management and leadership. And then I finish off on Friday with having a supervisor clinic, a one-to-one -one clinic with my clinical supervisor in the morning, uh, with another interesting clinic in the afternoon. Now this can also vary depending upon uh, the, the, the month, because at certain points during the month I have something called a trainee representative meeting. Essentially this is where I represent uh, the Bromley GP uh, um, sort of trainees in uh, the training committee and talk to trainee representatives about what we're doing well as trainees, what we think we can improve, and also to talk to um, the leaders who are uh, in charge of the training pathway. So you might be wondering, what happens now? What, what happens after medical school and how do I become a GP? So actually after six years of medical school, all doctors in the UK will go through a process of foundation training which means that they do two years of six different specialties uh, within the hospital for different opportunities to see what, what type of um, jobs a doctor can do. These can range from surgical specialties to uh, specialties as being a physician in medicine and also community jobs. And after doing your two years of foundation training, you have the opportunity to decide as to what specialty training you want to do. Doctors can be a variety of different things, including going into public health, looking into teaching opportunities, thinking about academia, but also focusing on surgical careers um, and becoming a physician. The area that I want to talk about is general practice, and that's the career option which I chose. General practice is a relatively shorter uh, training pathway with only three years after foundation training. And what that means is it provides a lot of flexibility to be able to do other things alongside your training and also enables you to qualify quicker and be able to build up that experience as a qualified GP. I think there are three reasons why I really want to go into general practice. I think the first reason is the opportunity to build those bridges, build those uh, relationships with patients um, and being a family doctor is an incredible opportunity to follow the patient through their journey in life and be able to be there as a support to them through their highs and lows. The second reason why I think GP is fantastic is that mentioned point about flexibility, that opportunity to do a variety of different things, to choose your sessions, to be able to add in academia aspects of things, teaching aspects of things, and also be involved in, in specialised clinics that you might find interesting. I think the last point about general practice is it's the variety that you see. You're really and truly a generalist, someone that's able to see all sorts of different things that come through the door. And actually that is incredible how you, one time you can see someone with a headache to the next point that you can see someone with chest pain. From the point that you might look at someone's skin to being able to help and support a child. It's an incredible opportunity to be able to support people and to support the healthcare system in a variety of different ways. Now, people often ask me, what is the hardest thing of being a GP? And I think there are two points I think about when anybody asks me this question. I think the first point is the emotional roller coaster it can be to be a GP in particular, but any doctor. It's that relationship you built with your patients, 
that close relationship where patients want to talk to you about their difficulties, their stresses, their anxieties, their health problems. And that can sometimes weigh heavy on you, particularly when you go home at the end of a long day and also in the evenings when you're trying to relax. But I think another challenge of being a GP, which is very specific to general practice, is this notion of being someone who knows a bit about everything. The variety of general practice can be both an exciting opportunity to learn new things and be involved in patients' care in all different aspects, but can also be quite challenging to bring on within a clinic in a, in a very uh, difficult scenario to bring on information that you might not have thought about in relation to patient care. I think it's these exciting opportunities, but at the same time these challenges, that make general practice so enjoyable.